Yo, what is up guys? So for today I'm bringing you Destiny 2. Now I do apologize that I haven't been posting as much. You guys already know what's happening in the world right now and unfortunately I still have to work. But let's get on to the video why you clicked this video in the first place. This is basically going to be a guide on how to get the armor from Iron Banner in Season 10. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Lord Saladin, pick up the quest. And the first thing you have to do is get 3 super kills, kill 30 people, and then capture 10, 10 zones. From that, you get the class item. The next quest is going to be clear the cylinders, which has you complete six matches, capture 20 zones, and then uh, get 25 hand cannon final blows. This one gives you the gauntlets. The next quest is going to be heat the barrels, which essentially you just have to kill 100 opponents in the Iron Banner, capture 30 zones, and then 20 SMG kills. And this one awards you the leg armor. The fourth quest is harness the elements, which is basically 15 super kills, 40 zones captured and 15 fusion rifle final blows. The fifth quest step is sharpen the arrows, which is essentially get 10 final blows with a bow, complete 15 matches and then capture 50 zones. That's pretty much it. Uh, the last one you have is polish the armor, which you just have to go back to Salad and he's like, hey, you did it. Er. So I know I said that really fast, but this is where I'm going to be giving you hints and advice because ultimately that's why you're here. So the first one, honestly, don't really need to help you. Just play the game. Now, I unfortunately was low level, low light level, so I was going up against red bars and the best thing I can tell you is get something that hits hard. If you're good with a sniper, do that. I wouldn't say a shotgun just because of how squishy you are, but I was using my my old fashioned with quick draw and explosive payload. I thought that was an amazing combination, especially since like I was able to hit pretty hard. And I had like a scout rifle as well. So just pick what you want. You're going to want to probably stay behind. Although if you're ballsy, you can go rush in. People will not expect that. That's what I was doing. I had my old, my old fashioned with a shotgun and I was just having fun with it. And for the second one, the clear the cylinders. This one, I was, like I said, I was using my old fashioned, which hits hard. It hits like a fucking truck. But the only thing is that you're going up against assault rifles you're going up against 150s so you're gonna want to take cover essentially but i was going a little bit more aggressive than i really should have this one took me i'm not even gonna lie around six to seven matches because of just how hard it was but again this one's not that hard just get your shots if you if you have a 150 even better if you're higher level even better like it's it's honestly just grind it out. Heat the barrels. This one's going to be kind of weird. So essentially I saw. This is not the first time we get this kind of quest in an iron banner. So immediately I saw a lot of people with like mountaintop and recluse. I tried it. I didn't really like it. Uh, mostly because eh, like not not my cup of tea. So what I ended up doing was just I just did double double smg i ended up using my callus mini tool with my escape velocity which has like overflow so after a while i just ended up using escape velocity as my main and then i just put a shotgun that way my overflow can actually proc and i had 80 rounds in my fucking magazine so there's a lot of stuff you could use don't think you just need to use the recluse like there's a lot of good smgs out there you could use like i said callus mini tool that one's great that one's super fucking good i cannot vouch enough for that gun the escape velocity is a really good one especially if you get the roll that i want which is overflow with quick draw oh my god i wish there's a lot of good smgs out there just this one might take a while but thankfully it's not that many kills it's just 20 so if you're really having a hard time, you could do Recluse, but me personally, like I said, I was doing double SMG and then an SMG with a shotgun. The Harness the Elements has you kill 15 people with a fusion rifle. This one was a little tough for me. Not gonna lie, mostly because I don't really fuck with fusion rifles. They give you 
they give you a, a Wizen Rebuke, which I, I don't like Wizen Rebuke. I've never really liked it. So what I ended up doing was I got one of my er Erentils, not one with backup plan. You could do it. You could like hit someone enough for their health could could, could do, oh my god words you can damage them enough so that their health can go down and then you can pop out backup plan but that's just extra work i had a backup plan or i mean i had an erintel with firmly planted and quick drop but i had accelerated coils on top of a masterwork of charge time all the way so this was a lot of fun you could use exotics as well. You could use Telesto. You could use the Bastion. You could use a bunch of stuff. Just don't think you just have to use that one weapon they gave you. Infuse it into something else that you like more. Do that and handle. It, it was a lot of fun. So the last one is going to be the bow kills. Now, this is where you get the ritual weapon, which I thought was weird. I thought we were just going to have a different quest. I'm kind of in the middle of this, like cool i got it i'm happy but at the same time that was a little too easy but i understand why bungie didn't want to make it too hard because it's iron banner so i'm not really saying this is bad or good just whatever's but i will have a different guide on this weapon or not a guide but a, a review for this weapon later but i will say i think the weapon's fine i think it's really cool i think the perks are like whatever's but i'll get into more depth in my video but if you want to use this weapon, by by all means, it's dope. I would use it. I did use it, but there's other great ones. You can use a subtle calamity. You could use tyranny of heaven. If you hear it's clicking, it's I'm looking through my uh, my dim. Um, what's it called? Fucking. What is this called actually? Destiny item manager. There we go. I'm looking through that. That way I can like actually tell you guys on the fly because you know, duh. But you could use the exotics as well, Le, Mon Le Monarch, uh, the, the one that could see through walls. I personally really liked uh, the stag. I thought it was pretty cool. Again, I think the perks are just kind of underwhelming, but like, again, I'm going to say in my video. But ultimately, that's pretty much it. I will say that this... This time around in Iron Banner has given me a lot better rolls on my armor. I'm getting 60s and plus. I'm loving this. I think the item or the stat uh, distribution is a little wonky. I'm like, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Their 60s cool, but I just, for like my hunter, I'm looking for mobility, uh, recovery, and maybe resilience. Those are the three I really usually look for because I don't give a shit about grenades. I don't give a shit about my my melee and honestly super i don't give a fuck about my super it's only things that help me while i'm playing so i'm looking for those three specifically mostly mobility and then if i can get like high high rolls of like the other two that would be great but overall i'm loving the rolls i got a few mods that i was surprised overall i think this iron banner is dope but the fact that they're giving us armor from what is it? Uh, let me see. It's Iron Banner armor from Forsaken. The fact that we're getting reskins again is just... It's a little... Un it's, it, it fucking sucks. Let's just say that. It really does. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but I would have really loved that they if they did this, what I have in the screen right now, where essentially you have the Eververse slot and then you can have an Iron Banner slot where... You can pick from all the Iron Banner armor sets that have been in the past. And then, the like, it would be great if they did that because you're essentially future-proofing everything. Because, let's say, okay, cool, I like the armor that I got now. But then, in the next Iron Banner, they have a new armor. And, shit, like, I still like this armor. But I don't want to, like, just drop it for this armor, even though it has better stats. It would be great because the next armor... Would already have the pass armor in its like rotation so you can just pick it from there i think that would be great i don't understand why they haven't done that yet like i've been playing a lot of wow recently and the transmog in that game compared to this and when i say transmog i mean like the ability to like look the way you want it's like day and night man like if you really wanted to what the fuck was that i think my father-in-law's watching anime probably but like everything in this like 
in this game destiny 2 is just so like there's so many barriers and like there's no point there's like why are you making barriers so i've been playing a lot of wow and i'm just kind of like damn dude it feels so refreshing being able to just like look the fucking way i want to look it's so refreshing so when i come back to destiny 2 and just see all these barriers i'm just kind of like dog like when are you guys gonna grow up like hurry up so that's my guide if you guys have any tips tricks let me know in the comments below i actually really enjoyed this time around even though i haven't played destiny 2 in like a week i could tell my muscle memory was just kind of like we're not we're not playing wow right now it, it was rough i'm not gonna lie it was rough but hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the the gameplay that i had in the background if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support not only that but be safe guys wash your hands like take this shit serious but also this is not end of the world hopefully so yeah let me know what you guys think i will see you guys later peace